Hey everyone, this is Bill. Um, I'm going to try this again. I'm going to show you how to cut a loop out of a song and make it into your own song um, in Logic Express 9. So we go to Logic Express 9, it's right here, click on it, and then I'm going to go to New. Empty Project. Comes up, we're going to do Audio. Create. <clears throat> okay, now I want to get my song. I'm going to take anything from iTunes that I've got and cut it up. Any song, doesn't matter if it's someone else's, copyrighted, anything, you can take it and cut it up. Um, I'm going to choose a friend of mine, uh, D. Thorpe. Um, because he sends me songs that are that already have the beats per minute on the side so I can write um, guitar tracks for him or drum tracks for him <coughs> uh, I take this one sweet addiction and I already know what it sounds like so I take it and I drag it over into here this track audio track and it's a left click and then you just drag it over with your finger drop it and there it is Okay, now I want to close out of iTunes so it doesn't take up memory. <clears throat> Quit iTunes. Alright. Now, drag this over to one, like that. Um, then we, I know what part I want, which is this very first guitar part. And if we play it. There's no drums on it because he wanted me to write drums to it. So we're going to loop this part that I want. And if you can't really see it, you come down here to these little, uh, I, I would call it magnifiers. You bring, drag it to the right, it makes it bigger. Drag this one down, it makes it bigger this way. Okay? So now. We want this guitar part right here. Um, that's going to be our rap song. And Dwayne likes to write some stuff in odd time signatures. <clears throat> so, first of all, before we get too much further into it, it's at 180 beats per minute. A normal song wouldn't come with that written on there, so you'd have to figure that out yourself. Uh, 180... Uh, if it was... 180 divided by 2, excuse me, there's a yawn in there, uh, would be also 90. Um, so you can use 90 beats per minute and still write a drum track. It would just be, you'd have to figure out a little bit differently. 180, enter. Okay. Now, that should be going the same speed, but I moved it a little bit. <clears throat> Okay, um, that's the part that we want. So, um, and we got it starting on the three. If we want to make it into a four-four sim simple uh, rap tune or whatever you want, however you want to, whatever genre you're into, um, you take this and pull it out to five. There, you got two bars. That makes it four-four. Okay, now we'll <clears throat> come over here, the top right, click on the scissors tool. Take the scissors, clip it there, that's a left click, and click it right there, that's a left click, and we have this whole bar that's now separated from the rest of the song. Now we'll come over here, and... Hit the pointer tool, click on this one here, hit the delete button, and click over here, hit the delete button. Now we have just that part of the song. If you want to use other parts of the song, don't delete it because it's easier to cut it up from the other part. I'm just doing this as an illustration. 
We're going to move this over to here. Now we got that. Okay, now we want to do another track for a drum track. Go to New. Go to Software Instrument and Create. Okay, so it comes up uh, default electric piano. Um, I normally will use uh, my superior drummer because I like that for writing uh, metal and rock and roll drum parts. Um, but this one is going to be a rap song. Um, so I go over here to drums and percussion and I go to electronic drum kits. And 808 usually has a good rap sound, EXS 808. That's probably in GarageBand as well. Um, I believe uh, Logic and GarageBand use a lot of the same drum sets. Uh, so you left click on that and it loads it up there. All right, then we drag this back over to one. And then <clears throat> control and right click there, create empty MIDI re region. Okay, so we got one full bar, and then we want to drag this out to two, like that. And then you want to go down here to piano roll. Pull this up. And then I always manipulate the velocity because normally it, it def defaults, um, I think it's 60 something. I'm not sure. Um, anyways, I double click on that hit 96 and enter and then all of your velocities will come up at 96 um, then you if you want to make it sound more natural you can change that in the future we're going to make this a little bit smaller so I can pull the piano roll up more um, then there's a good bass sound um, now I know his guitar stuff usually comes in hot and loud. So I gotta turn it down some so I can hear my drum track. I'm gonna take this and turn my drum track up. Okay, now I'm gonna come over here to the pencil tool and that will draw in my beats. Now we just got to place the stuff in the right spot. explaining much because you can see what I'm doing.
that's how I would do that. <clears throat> and then if I wanted to drag that out for four measures, uh, I come up here to top right corner, drag it out. One, that's two measures. Actually, I'll um, make this a little smaller so you can see it. See how I'm dragging it out? So, so far we got one, two. This is the start of the third one. We're just dragging it out. And four would stop at nine. And then we want to drag this drum track out. Four. Drag the loop out so you can make sure that it sounds right. That's that. If you want to take the loop off, if you want to start another track off of here, you come over here and bring your your uh, line to there, and then you uh, write, you know, create another empty MIDI region, and it will create it right there at that line. And then you start your new drum track. If you want another guitar track, you put it in there.